Man, am I glad this anime is getting the credit it deserves, guys. Over the past few weeks, I've seen more and more people talking about it, which is great. It's been on my Twitter feed a lot. And Joey, the anime man, actually talked about it in one of his recent videos too, so that was pretty cool. Kind of like what he said, if you're trying to watch an anime for just its face value and just taking in what the anime presents to you, and this is probably not your type of anime, but if you want to be challenged a little bit and um, made to think, then Wonder Egg Party is definitely like going to be right up your alley. Because it doesn't really tell you everything, you kind of have to decipher and interpret what's going on behind the scenes or what the message actually is behind what they're showing you. So I love when these underrated anime get to shine in the limelight. In the moonlight, in the spotlight, uh, I don't really, really want the limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. Niggas put me in the motherfucking limelight. You can move me under the motherfucking limelight. Cause I really, really, really want to blow pipes. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do you want to wonder? Right? Do you want to build a snowman? Well, they got numbers on them. Bro, has she ever watched that trend, that raincoat? Hoodie, whatever that shit is. It has your wish in it? I just had some egg. I just had an egg sandwich, it's pretty good. Bro, if I go into a bathroom and the toilet paper starts talking to me, I'm never going to a public bathroom ever again. Yo, that's so creepy, bro. Imagine you, a girl you just met comes over into your house, crawls into your bed, and then just hugs you. It's a little creepy. <clears throat> what? Bam. Yo, she caught video of her and Sawaki? What? Dude, no way. Oh, that's a little creepy, bro. <sighs> If someone hadn't watched this series, they could have just watched this episode first and then they would be so much more informed on what the hell is going on. Okay, so they're just going between each character now. Yeah, I'm, I want to learn more about her too. Yeah, that was kind of weird, bro. She's 14 but has her own company. I don't get it. Damn, that's deep. I feel like that that would apply to a bunch of these girls, if not all of them. That's that's not a stab, bro. That looks like she got clawed by a beast or some shit. What the fuck? It's like she stabbed her and then dragged that shit down. This was this was an interesting aspect of uh, of the whole dream world was that they're actually gaining physical improvements from fighting in the dream world definition bro they're like 10 got him why she sound like natsu when he says now i'm fired up but what are these puppets bro these little scarecrow looking motherfuckers in the garden. Hey, goo. Puriality! Fucking name drops, bro. Her story is definitely the most uh, impactful, I think. I feel like it's the most uh, tragic. Damn, yeah, man. This, this part was freaking sad. Uh, yup, this is where the last episode kind of left off. That's crazy, bro. 
That part's crazy. Someone just stealing it. Oh no, it's the Billie Eilish's again. Sugar daddies. Out of all of them, this seems like the first one where the character drove the person that they're trying to save to die. They should have saved Rico's story for last. I mean, the other girl's like cool, but like I feel like Rico is the most. This is the one that we last left off, uh, last left on in the last episode. Okay, here's when they get their little Digimon. Clap. Yeah, probably. She seems like the person with the least uh crazy damage, even though she has her own issues. Yeah, man, this part with uh her mom wanting to date Sawaki was uh it was a high point of this show. I really yeah, no, I can't I can't trust these puppet guys. <laughs> The fourth wall, bro. Breaking that shit. That turtle Blastoise shit? Fucking fire. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about Tell us about yourself. Oh my god. Bro, that's all we got this episode? Freaking recap? Oh my god, bro. I was excited to see some shit go down. Alright, whatever. Use rapid spin and, you know, clap. So, this episode was a recap episode, so I'm not gonna really dive into anything, really. If you've been watching the series and you haven't really been keeping track of what's actually going on, you've kind of gotten lost in the story or the non-linear path that this anime is taking, then this episode is definitely for you to kind of wrap everything up up until this point and make sure that you know exactly what's going on kind of recap what happened with each of the characters in their own episodes um as well as repeating some points that i think are pretty necessary to know like for example the fact that they actually gain physical abilities and enhancements in real life from their dream world was actually pretty cool um that's something i actually forgot about but i remembered and yeah that's pretty much it for this recap episode of it's like they heard how people were talking about One Direct Priority, that it's a good anime, but you might get lost in it if you're not paying attention or thinking about what's going on and they decide to make a recap episode. But uh, yeah, no, next week I guess we're going to be wrapping up the second half of the season, starting to at least, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to end. Is there? Gonna, I wonder if there's going to be season two though. Um, I'd be down with it. Yeah, not much going on this episode, just a recap of the whole series up until now. I do want to know though, let me know who is best girl in this series, who you guys think is best girl. Um, for me it should be obvious, it's obviously Rika. But yeah, short short little video for this week's episode of Wonder Egg Party, not much going on. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and this recap episode, if you thought it was a pretty informative episode, drop me a like and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit that subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.